So today I'm going to show you how to have ChatGPT make you your own multi-agent AI app that actually works and it's incredibly easy. ChatGPT has gotten so good. So the inspiration for this video came from Shubham Sabu on Twitter. He gives you this whole tutorial step by step of all the stuff you have to do. But I thought I can do this easier using ChatGPT. So first of all, make sure you just make a new folder. I called it agents. Then we're going to head over to ChatGPT and I'm just going to say, I want you to create a multi-agent AI web app using Python and Streamlit. Python is the programming language and Streamlit is what actually makes it a web app. This AI will use multiple agents. It should have an input field for the user's OpenAI API key and then a box for their query. Give it this title. Let's just add a robot emoji there. And then I'll just say, here's what I want each agent to do. And then you can just have it do anything. Our first agent will create a short article for my blog on the provided topic. The second agent will create three engaging social media posts. And the third agent will make up a short story about that topic. Now, this is just an example. You can literally do anything you want here. And I don't think there's really a limit on how many agents you can have. So that's it. Let's hit enter, see what it comes up with. So there we go, here's just the explanation of what it made. And here's the code. As you can see, here are three agents, for the blog article, the social media post, and the short story. Obviously, we could have prompted this a lot better, made some more detailed prompts, but this will do for now. So the only thing we have to do now is copy this, head over to our new folder. We're just gonna click the address bar here, type in CMD. This will open our command prompt and navigate to this folder then we'll just paste our pip install streamlet open ai there we go that's done we can exit this now then you want to open any text editor i'll use notepad plus plus you can literally just use the standard windows notepad then we'll copy all the code and paste that into our notepad and that is it we will now save this i'll just call it agent.py it's py make sure to save the type as all types and hit save so now we have this agent.py file right here now we can't actually double click this so there are two ways we can open it but the best way so that we can just double click something to open it next time is to just open another notepad here so all we have to do is type in at symbol echo off then a new line with streamlit run and then the name of our file now we're going to save that as so i'm just going to call it run make sure to call it dot bat and then save as type all files again save that and there it is now we can double click this and there we go it will open our browser and here is our web app now we need to input our open ai api key now you can get this for free you don't need to be a premium user of ChatGPT or anything you just want to go to platform.openai.com this will take you to your dashboard then at the bottom here on the left you want to go to api keys and we'll just hit create a new secret key call it whatever you want and hit create secret key this will give you your api key copy that and this is our key so we can paste that in here now and now we can enter the topic for our ai agents so i'll just input roman empire hit enter ah and there we go we get an error interesting it says the model text da vinci 003 has been deprecated so let's just take a look in our code here so there's our problem it is using the text da vinci model so instead of that we'll just put in gpt 3.5 turbo don't forget the dashes i'll hit ctrl s save that uh, and then we want to close the command prompt that's open and we'll try again again we'll put in our key here and let's try that again so as we're getting this error i'll just copy and paste this into our chat gpt here i get this error ah, i see so apparently we couldn't just fill in the gpt 3.5 turbo there which it has kept in the code interestingly so it's that smart it knows what we've used so we'll copy this code and replace the entire code with the new one hit save let's see if it works now and there we go it's running here's our blog article exploring the magnificence of the roman empire here are our three social media posts and there it came up with our short story not bad at all so we did this for completely free in just a few minutes if anything goes wrong or you get any errors as you can see you can just copy paste it into chat gpt and it will fix it for you imagine the possibilities of this obviously you can do a lot more complicated stuff just keep asking chat gpt for exactly what you want and it will help you out if you enjoyed this video please give it a like subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you in the next video